There's so many different ways to be a part of Save a Life, and especially with our new office, which is Hope Women's Services down at 1506 Layton Avenue. We just moved into our brand new office, and we changed the name of our location because we realized that there were many ladies who are abortion-minded that weren't coming to Save a Life because they know Save a Life means babies, and everybody loves Save a Life because of babies, but abortion-minded women don't want to think about babies. They're in a crisis situation, and they're scared, and they just want to know their options. So the new facet of Save a Life is hope, which means providing help, options, and pregnancy education. So the way you can be a part of that is either by praying for us and for our clients and for our staff and volunteers, but also donating toward the efforts here at our ministry. And you can volunteer. You might want to be a greeter or a receptionist. You may want to train as an advocate or as a mentor with our Earn While You Learn program. You could even train as a presenter in the schools with our duct tape and dating program. We are known as Hope Women's Services as we provide hope for women who have unplanned pregnancies and um, they come here and we witness the gospel of Jesus to them and uh, talk to them about life and promote um, the idea of them having their babies and I'm holding a garment right here that's donated and this is our baby boutique here at, at um, Hope Women's Services and we um, allow our clients to earn uh, mommy bucks which are um, currency that we pay them for attending classes in parenting and spiritual leadership so that they are prepared uh, emotionally and spiritually and um, physically for their baby to come home from the hospital. And so by the time they have their baby, we've equipped them with all the necessary items for babies and accoutrements they're going to need to make sure that they um, can take care of their baby very well when they come home from the hospital. Well, I originally moved here from Georgia, and um, I had to sign up for Medicaid because I was pregnant. And then the Medicaid worker gave me a lot of pamphlets and stuff, so I looked at the pamphlets, and I was like, okay, I'm going to go um, try out Save the Life. I didn't have anything else to do, so I went, and I met Shay, and I was about seven weeks pregnant. And it was just amazing because I wasn't working, and I... Um, I saved up all my diapers until she was born and I didn't have to buy any diapers and I still don't have to buy any diapers, <laughs> which is so great. And um, I had clothes and I learned a lot of things. Um, it really helped so much because I would I, I don't know what it would have done. I don't know anything, I didn't know anything about having a baby or what to do and like even after I had her. She was still available for me to call at like two o'clock in the morning. She's like, oh my God, I don't know what's wrong. Her eyes crusting. I don't know what to do. <laughs> and um, she was really helpful and, you know, just taught me so much that I even go and tell other people about it. And the prayers, everything has been so helpful. And I'm just really appreciative. I volunteer at Save Life, as you probably already know. And I'm very good friends with Michelle Payne, who is the director. Um, on Saturday, September 26th, Michelle called me in the morning and said, um, I've gotten a phone call from Dr. Collins at RMC, and there's a baby there that the mother wants to give her up for adoption. Well, actually, we didn't know if it was a boy or a girl at the time. Um, and as soon as he called me, uh, you were the first person that I thought of, and I I knew that you and your husband would would be interested in um, taking the baby, so I called you. And um, of course, we, you know, I told her that yes, I I definitely were interested, but my husband was at work, and I had to call him to <laughs> to make sure that it was okay <laughs> to bring a baby home. Um, so anyway, um, I called my husband, and he. Uh, stopped what he was doing and came home and we left for the hospital because we were told uh, Dr. Col when I spoke with Dr. Collins on the phone he said you know you want to come as quickly as you can because there are other people um, already interested in the baby but you have first priority because you responded first so um, we went to the hospital and Johanna was born um, at 8.35 in the morning, and we were there within, um, by about 11 to 11.30. Um, we got to, the birth mother wanted to meet with us, so we met with her um, just briefly, and um, 
basically that was just so that she could um, know, you know, who her daughter, who the baby was going to. Um, so anyway, I'm trying to keep this short because I know we don't have much time, but um, the, the long story short is that we have our daughter, Johanna, who is legally ours as of December the 9th, um, and God is amazing and wonderful, and I can't say enough good things about him because the, 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 wonder, the amazing thing about this story is that we were not seeking an adoption. We were not on a list. We were not, we, this just was completely out of the blue. But God knew exactly what he was doing. He, he knew from the beginning what he was doing. Um, and he, he knew that we were the, fa we were the family. We, we are the family. And um, another one little cool thing about the whole story is that I have a two-year-old son, and I was still nursing him. Um, so, at the time, you know, I was struggling with whether or not I should wean him, and I was just not feeling peace about that. Um, and it's, as it turns out, there there was reason for that. And um, Johanna was born, like I said, at eight thirty-five in the morning, and I was nursing her by twelve thirty um, that day. So. I have an adopted daughter, and I'm able to nurse her, and there is just, I can't describe to you how amazing that is, because God knows exactly my heart, and He knows what's important to me, and and He has been so faithful, and I just want to say, you know, it's through things like Save, Save a Life, Hope Women's Services, that we make connections, that we're able to um, to to do this, um, it's not you know. Obviously, no. Our, this Johanna's birth mother was not a client of, of ours, but it was because of um, our position in the community that we even got a phone call about her. And I just you know I'm so so grateful for. For the connections that we have, and for the support that that you give, and the support that the count that all, countless churches in the county give, um, God is good and He is faithful.